Hello, family, friends, and fellow gamers. This is Grumpy Gnome, and welcome to episode three. We are at the Friendly Arm Inn after our inhospitable welcome by Tarnish. And we are now seeking out Jahira and Khalid, the uh, friends that we were supposed to meet here. Now, there's a mighty buff-looking guy over here. His name is Dorn. He is a new uh, insert to the Enhanced Edition. And uh, let's uh, have a talk with him, see what he's got going on. It will on. be done. Hey, friend. Mm, it's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. Whoa, not what I was expecting. So, I think you mistaken me for somebody else. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. <laughs> All right. Nothing would please me more. Away with you. Hey, friend. Oh, Good to Jop meet a fine sod such as yourself. <laughs> it's Joppy. Anyway, I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle and Baldur skate. Can't get in to see him. Well, look at why are the roads cut off? Oh, well, haven't you heard? They're crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron that they can find. And he's guessing that we came from the West. And just to end this conversation for your hope and mine, I hope the roads clear up soon. So we're going to move on. Uh, Emily, uh, yeah. for some reason, she likes to go in the kitchen. This way. This way. Yeah, in the kitchen. And when she's in there, she sees in the cupboard a potion of healing. Take it. Okay. Now, let's continue. I stand ready. Looking for our friends. With so, ease. they're not here. They're not here. Just a bunch of drunks over here. And, oh, we have adventurer types. Let's check it out. You would be... How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Jahira, good day, friend. You are the child of Gorion, aren't you? I recognize from the letters he writes. And good, 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 good to know you. Uh, we're old friends of your adopted father. He's not with you, must assume the worst. And if he pass, we share your loss. Uh, Gorion said he often worried about your safety. He also wished for Khalid and I to become your guardians. Yay, I have guardians. And uh, it looks like uh, we might be traveling companions. Uh, we could t t t t travel together. Okay. It would be fitting to Gorion. We should first go to Nashgal. Now, this is the uh, second group of people that said we need to go to Nashgal. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there's rumors of strange things happening in the mines. No doubt you've heard of the Iron Shortage. Wow, well, your company would be welcome. So, good. We'll leave when you're ready. And we have just gained Khalid and Jahira to our room. Let's pause. Jahira. Nature servant awaits. Nature servant awaits. Here we go. She is a multi-class. She is a level one fighter and a level one druid. She's got a fair strength, nothing to brag about. Fair dexterity, nothing to brag about. Constitution, good. That will give her, you know, nice hit points. Intelligence, blah. Wisdom, probably needs that to be a druid. And she is rather charismatic. So, if we weren't as handsome as we are, uh, she could probably um, take the leadership role. Of course, Emmowyn has a 16, so she might just be the uh, front woman. But 15 is good. And what else do we need to know here? We need to know that she is proficient with the quarterstaff, a sling, and even more proficient with a club. So let's work on that. She comes with a quarterstaff, so that may um, help us out. Now, 
armor class modifiers. Well, she gets a plus two missile, plus two to piercing. So I guess that's going to help her out a little bit. Uh, nothing else that we really need to uh, know down here. And yeah, that 17 constitution gives her a plus three to her hit points. So awesome. Whew. She's a female. She's half elf fighter druid and true to second edition dungeons and dragons she must be a true neutral khalid khalid is a level one fighter and he has proficiencies with long sword two flips axe and long bow he will eventually start going up in longbow because my plans for Khalid are to use him more as an archer and less as a uh, frontline person. He'll see plenty of uh, frontline tank work uh, in the game when we're in uh, small quarters. But if we're adventuring out in the wilderness, he's our archer. Okay. Uh, what else do you got going on here? You've got a strength of 15, which is nothing to brag about as a fighter. Dexterity is 16. We may up that to 18 with a very special pair of gauntlets. Constitution 17. And that gives Khalid a plus three to his hit points. So he will have a good number of hit points too. Intelligence is a 15, rather high for him, but he's not going to need it. Wisdom of 10, blah. And charisma of 9, yeah. This guy um, is lacking in something. It's obviously not his looks, so I'm going to guess that he took this ding because he does not have leadership quality. So... Sorry, Khalid, you are never going to be point man. Anyway, he's a male, he's half-elf, he's a fighter, and he's neutral good. So, party is coming together a little bit. Uh, let's uh, put Khalid in the number two position. Jahira... Sorry. Jahira, you're number three only because of your hit points. Munchurun... You're in number four. And Emowyn, you're going to be five. And Czar is going to be in the back. I think we are ready to go. Let's take a spin upstairs. I'm gone. Just to, oops, hmm? just to see what's going on. It will be done. And... Not a problem. If we go to this room... Right here. See, I'm not gonna. Oops, I'm not going to bother checking the uh, locks here in the chests because we're only a level one thief, and there's no way we're gonna get into any of these. There is a little person right here that we want to have a talk with. He's a gnome, so let's uh, have a talk. And uh, Anchi. See what Unchi says. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. Aye, yes. Have you heard there's a rogue ogre with a belt fetish to the south of the friendly arm inn? I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing for my life out there. Wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey! If you can get my belt back, I'd be mighty grateful. Okay. So, we have a rogue ogre to deal with. And Emily? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. <sighs> I've done had enough of this. Yeah, man, I, she is annoying. Empty. Empty. See, these must be the cheap beds up here because they just put everybody together. A dagger. I'll take it. It's probably worth something. One gold. Over here. Oh! Battle. 
uh, Warhammer. I'll take that as a secondary. Uh, throwing daggers, those are going to go to Czar. So, we're making progress. Czar, you got yourself some throwing daggers. I got myself another Warhammer. Emowyn, you got yourself another potion. And I will sell that on the way out the door. Let's take a spin yes. to level three. It will be done. It will be done. It'll be done. It'll be done. Oh. Not a problem. Another Nomi. Hey, Nomi. What's going on? Landrin. A pleasure it is to meet you. Aye, a pleasure it is to meet you. Hey, I've got an infestation of poisonous spiders in me cellar. In better cost, Bentley said I could stay here a while until they move on, and I hate to impose. So, anyway, he wants us to go to his house in Berigost, and there's a couple things here he wants us to bring back. He'll give us 120 gold. Uh, we got to bring back some old boots. we got to bring back one of the bodies of the spiders and a bottle of old wine. And he said he might even throw in a little something extra as well. So... Now we got another quest. And these antidotes here, Landrin has given us some cure poison antidotes. So we are well equipped to deal with the spiders. Okay. Emily. What you want? This dude I'm here. Gone. This dude is part of a, uh, a long quest, and it is the quest of the Golden Pantaloons. So, if we strike up a conversation with him, we can get him or trick him into giving us his Golden Pantaloons. Now, they are worth nothing in this game. However, they will carry on to Baldur's Gate 2. And if you can combine the golden pantaloons with the silver pantaloons, I believe it is, you get a very special piece of armor. And that comes, like I said, from one series to another. We will come back just before we end the game and see if we can get those pantaloons because otherwise they would take up one of our inventory slots and that real estate is very valuable. So I don't want to carry golden pantaloons throughout the entire game. Okay, we're back in the cheap uh, beds. Let's see what we got. How about some arrows? Yes. Okay. Anything here? Nope. Anything here? Nope. Anything here? A battle axe. Anything here? Nope. And... Emowyn is going to go ahead and give that to Carlos so we can sell it on the way out. Add to the uh, quiver there. And let's get out of here. Okay, everybody down. I stand down. ready. Not a problem. Everybody down. And down again. Not a problem. And we'll go to the barkeep. There's actually a couple things we're going to purchase uh, for our uh, adventurers. So let's first uh, sell some stuff to Bentley. It's been dread for a slow business lately. I know Bentley. Iron is the lifeblood of the whole region. It's painful when it gets scarce. Hey, what do you got to sell? So we could get a room here, but we don't have to because we didn't cast any spells. We don't need to rememorize. So here we go. We want to sell the letter. We want to sell the morning star. We want to sell dagger. We'll sell the short bow. We will sell the plus one dagger for 150. Our diamond that Emma had found in the tree. We have a flame dance ring. I'm going to keep that as a backup. We can sell this dagger, keep the antidotes, and we'll sell the battle axe. And Khalid is going to get a backup longsword. So sell all those. 725. Yes. Cha-ching. And 
the things I wanted to buy are two slings. So there's two done. And to go with those, we're going to need some bullets. Let's take this up to 16. Whoops, too far. Oops, one, two, three, 16, done. And I think that is all we're going to buy. Look at that. We got 725 for what we sold, and we're only buying 18 worth of things. So buy those, and we're done. So now pause. Let's give Jahira a sling because she was proficient. So there's that. There's that. I'm also going to give another sling to Monteron because he, as a halfling, has a uh, plus one when using slings. This is my backup Warhammer. We'll save those for when we need to divvy them out. And Khalid, there's your backup. So, Chihira, let's give you a sling and two loads of bullets. Let's take Monteron. Here's your sling and your bullets. And now everybody, well, with the exception of Khalid, has a ranged weapon. Good deal. Let's go. And out we go. Okay, to Nashkel. Or let's see how you far south we your get. Party before venturing forth. Yeah, you gotta get With your ease. party. So, here we go. Now, there are other quests that we could do here. However, we're going to hold off on those until we... Um... Oh, we could pick up this one right here. Hello there. Okay, Joyla. It is Joya. It will be done. Yes? Hey there, you're new here, aren't you? Could I trouble you for a moment? Oh. And, well, tell me what you need. Make it quick. That's kind of snappy. Leave me be. No. Uh, certainly, my lady. Speak your mind. And such manners. Well, I need a gruff hand. So keep your please and thank you garbage for the nobles. Well, wow. Okay. I was robbed by some hobgoblins. Basically, they took a ring, and those hobgoblins are now to the north. And, uh, of course, being the uh, chivalrous noble and honorable person that I am, I will help you. And she thanks us. So, there's another quest that we picked up. We'll do that later. It will be done. Okay. Let's let's go south. We are going to go to Nashville because I want to get rid of a couple of people and I want to pick up a couple with ease. Okay, remember stay on the roads, roads Hello, and your pal. friends. This is uh, Aeon. Anyway, if you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There's beasties about. You seem quite at home. What's the most dangerous? Why should I be wary of this area? Sorry to have disturbed you. Let them hear. No. Why should I be wary? And he basically tells us what kind of animals we might encounter. Very good. Heading south, heading south, heading south now. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, we're going south, going south, that almost looks like a tree monster, right there, head, couple arms, legs, ah, okay, still heading south, ooh, flies, <gasps> what's this, oh my gosh, they crashed, Nothing. Oh, seven gold. Yay, we're rich. Sorry, guys. 
She'll say a nice word for him. Baragost. What do you okay. Need? This is uh, Golden Vent. He is kind of like your tour guide. He says need directions, and he's going to point us to what we might need. So, an affordable inn, a uh, bit of luxury, need some well-made weapons, just a place to drown my sorrows. We'll just go affordable inn. Uh, and he says, basically names off all the inns in town. Thank you very much. And we're out of here. So. It will be done. Another trick in this game is to touch the edges. And when you touch the edges, it actually reveals the map that is next to the region that you're in. For instance, we're in Baragost. High Hedge is next door. And now that we know that that's there, we can... Continue. Not a problem. That will only work on regions that you have access to. There are chapters in this game, and some areas will not open up until you complete a certain level in the game. So I'm sticking to the side because I don't want any of the uh, street encounters to interfere with our travel south. Okay, there's three. Where's the other three? Come on, guys. Okay, keep going south. And with ease. We're going to run to this edge over here. And another reason I'm running to the edges is because the chances of an encounter are rarer than if you're in the middle of the map. So the edge is kind of a safety buffer, but not always guaranteed. Okay, Olcaster is to the east. And we're going to continue. These? south let's go south going south i really don't expect and i'm not allowed to sleep our next assailants may just live. Okay, Monteron is already Entire. getting a bit... Um, I'll be much more agreeable with rest! Okay. Monteron and Zar are getting tired. But that's okay, because we're almost... Uh, we're almost there. Okay, continue south, and as you can see, Nashville will be the next stop after this one. With and ease. back to the edge. Let's open it up, and that might be Durlag's Tower. That is some place with ease that <laughs> we really don't want to go to right now. That place will eat us up. But there are some very nice magic items to be had at Durlock's Tower. We're, we're just nowhere near the level that we need to be to deal with it. So. As soon as we uh, break out of the bottom here, we'll be in Nashkel. And there's a couple things we can do if time permits. If not, at least we uh, hit our goal and made it south. There we go. Three and three stragglers. And Nashkel, cutscene.
and it's going to get dark. And we're done. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Okay. We have no idea. Well, let's find out. Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of time, so let's run Not over problem. here and find another hidden gem. Let's open up the side of the map over here first. Okay, that's good. That's probably Zart Village. And we're going to stay in Nashville. And if we come down here to the south, there's going to be some farmlands. And there is going to be some farmlands. And you just never know what you're going to find in the ground. So, just from the little light of the moon, we see a glimmer over here. And I am going to send Carla hmm? over to check it out. Not a problem. Oh, get up. There you go. Boom. This is Ancad Armor. This is probably one of the best armors that you can get in the game. It is the equivalent of plate mail. However, the weight factor is fractional. So it's a wonderful piece of armor to have. And we find a pearl. So cha-ching. Good deal. Yes. Okay. Not a problem. Let's uh, go into Nashkel and find out what's going on. I'm just coming over to the river right now to clear some of the fog of war. But we're going to go back up to the bridge. And this is another one of those where you just um, meet the people as you go down. Up. Oh. And there is our timer. So let's see, we got two minutes. Let's uh, get into town. Stand away, citizen. Stand away, citizen. Identify yourselves. We are the party of Carlo seeking a place to rest. I am Carlo. This is my band of adventurers. I hear there's trouble. We are here to help you. I like that. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're going to cause them, take them somewhere else. I assure you, we will be of no trouble. Let's go. In town. This dude right here who's jumping all over the place, that is Rashad. Rashad is a monk who has been introduced in the uh, Enhanced Edition of Baldur's Gate. You can bring him on as the glory of arm. Oh, Baron Gaskell. Hello there. I recognized you here in your group. You must be the adventurers we are expecting. Yes, we are. Save your pleasantries and answer my questions. No, absolutely not. What exactly is the trouble? Or you've mistaken me for somebody else. No, nope. what's the trouble? We're here to help. I can't believe you haven't guessed. Uh, there's an iron shortage. Well, Nashville's the thick of it all. Our mines are all but shut down. Uh, you want to go down there? Yeah, sure. See what I can do. And thank you. You'll be at the toast of the town. Boom. And we have another journal entry. Before we go any further, we're going to take a left turn here and go into the temple. Into the temple. Because... What need you dead? Up, up, up. I'll do your toil. Yep. Because what better place than be a done. temple to drop off your evil characters? 
So we are going to pause. We are going to hit this button. Oh, before we do that. You spoke at me? Yes, I did. Because you will no longer be adventuring, I will take that. Actually, give it to Jahira. Or M1. 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 Uh, your short sword, M1 can use that. And you now have nothing. Czar, we'll take the daggers, even though we don't need them. And a dagger here, we can sell that. And that leaves you with nothing. So, good deal. Now, let's go to here. Let's reform our party. If we ask you to leave, you will take your little short buddy with you. And that is that. Something troubling you? Nope. No longer troubled. You, you're you letting me go, but we have shared so much, so many good times. Truly a sad day. Goodbye. Oh, so sad. Blah, 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 blah. All that rot. Come on, Monteron. You're my counterpart. We shall not be separated. Okay. And for the rest of my party... I stand ready. Let's... With ease. Go. And you know what? I think we're going to call it right here. So... We, drew, we did our deed. We took Czar and Monteron to Nashgal. We left them <laughs> in good hands because they need some cleansing. And I think uh, we're going to leave it here. Let's go ahead and do a quick save. And then for the next episode, we'll start from here. That'll be episode four. So this ends three. Thank you very much for uh, coming to Nashgal with me. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what I can do better. Be sure to subscribe. I need subscribers. And be sure to share. If you know anybody, if you know family, friends, you know, share it with them. And hopefully they'll jump on board and adventure with us as well. With that said, jump over to Facebook. Follow me at Grumpy Gnome Gaming. And without further ado, we're going to call it that. Thank you very much. Take care. And we'll see you in episode four. Bye-bye.